All right, guys, I am back with a brand new movie review. I just walked in the door from Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. And uh, this was part one of two parts, which is a kind of a theme with movies this summer. We have a two-parter with, uh, what do you call it, the Fast X or the Fast and Furious series. The, this That last film was also part one of two, which I haven't seen yet, and I haven't reviewed it. You also had Into the Spider-Verse, which is also a two-parter, and that's why I did not give a review, a final review on the first one. And on this one, I'm going to give a review on Dead Reckoning, even though it is part one. I will give a review on the film, uh, but that review may change with part two because this is definitely one long story. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you right off. I'm going to be as spoiler-free as possible. I'm going to give away a few story points from the very beginning of the movie, which will not change the enjoyment of the film at all, but I'm not going to give away any spoilers that are going to re ruin anything future in the film, okay? Here's what I will tell you was, first of all, for me, I think this series peaked with Fallout. I don't think it's going to get any better than Fallout. This movie was nowhere near as engaging as Fallout was, so I want to tell you right now it's not as action-packed, it's not as engaging. Uh, I think they peaked with that. The story's also not as smart. Now, this story does deal with AI. That's kind of the big bad guy in the film. And that's all I'm going to tell you about the villain of the film. Uh, there are lots of surprises along the way. Now, some of the action that happens, a few of the things that happen in the movie were just way too convenient. And when you're dealing with a story about AI, and I'm not talking about all the, con all the convenient stuff coming just from AI, but some of the other things that happen, even some of the action sequences, there are some things that happen with some of the characters that are just way too convenient. It just meets the storyline too perfectly. It just lines up. It's not as smart as Fallout was, okay? Not as intense either. We have a lot of returning characters, and we also have some new cast members here. So one of the returning cast members I'm not even going to mention. Uh, it's going to be part of the beginning, part of the mysterious nature of what happens at the beginning, and I'm not going to spoil anything there. But we do have a new girl joining the mix here. And let me pull up her name. I should have had this up before we started. But let's talk about some of the returning characters. We have Rebecca Ferguson uh, as, as Elsa. She returns. We have Vanessa Kirby returning as, as White, White Widow. And we have uh, some other returning characters. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil those. But let's Let's turn up Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. Uh, Haley Atwell, that's who I was thinking of. So Haley Atwell does join the cast here as a huge role. She plays Grace in the film. She joins Ethan Hunt, uh, Benji and Luther, and uh, Ilsa on this journey for what happens in the film. Now, here's what I will tell people. Uh, oh, we also have... Palm, I, I don't know her last name. She was in the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie. She's the Asian girl. Uh, she's got a very prominent role in this film as well. And there's a few other people that do show up. Carrie Alwes is uh, one of the returning members here. And so we have quite a few of these, uh, of these characters that are either returning or are new to the cast. So the acting was pretty, pretty run of the mill. When I talked about my last, I did the review of the other film, you know, I did my review Fallout yesterday. The acting in this was more standard action. This movie was all more standard action than the last film. And in fact, there is a lengthy train sequence in this movie that was, you could say it was ripped right out of a video game. I would say it was ripped right out of uh, Uncharted 2. And yeah, it's very similar to something that happens in that film. And it was nowhere near as engaging or as intense. The characters have to make some very interesting decisions in this movie, and it does keep you on your feet. But again, some of it is just too convenient with the story dealing with AI. Going into the film, I will tell people pay very close attention to the dialogue at the very beginning when it deals with this foreign sub that has this new technology to clone itself. Pay attention to the dialogue and what's going on because it is going to tie into everything else that happens in the film. And if you if you aren't paying attention at the beginning, you will get a little confused as, you know, as to what's going on later on in the film. Did I hate this movie by any stretch of the imagination? No. In fact, I will tell you that this is the perfect summer movie. I rode my electric bike to the theater 
and it, it it's hot. Uh, in Arizona today, I think we're above 110. We might be around 110, 1, 113. And so it was hot, and I was happy to get to the theater. I was happy to sit down in this air-conditioned room and watch this movie. And it's everything I would expect out of a summer blockbuster film. It's expected to do extremely well over the weekend. If you like the Mission Impossible franchise, this is a movie to definitely check out. You will not be disappointed. But it is more standard action and more standard you know, action story than, than what I would hope from a Mission Impossible film. It's what I expected the last one to be, was, but was you know, pre- uh, pleasantly surprised. But again, my review on this may change uh, when we get into the next one. This is nowhere near my favorite Mission Impossible, but still very entertaining. So at the end of the day, as a standalone film, I give this three and a half stars. There's quite a bit of story to be left uh, to be told. And it's all my my overall review on the Dead Reckoning storyline will depend on how this ends with the next one. And I haven't checked to see when the next one is going to come out. Let's see if they have a release date on this yet. So Dead Reckoning Part 2 release date. I'm hoping it's next year. So it is going to be June 28th of 2024. So almost exactly one year later. So that is good news. And know that it is still the director, Christopher McQuarrie, who directed the last one and directed this one as well. So we do have the same director. Uh, one thing that really bothered me, I didn't have a whole, mu- a whole lot of things to complain about in this film other than it being standard action fair and a standard you know action story. The one thing that did bother me, though, was were the jokes. This one was way more silly than the other Mission Impossible films, especially in the first two-thirds of the film. There was way too many jokes, uh, and that's something that I don't appreciate as I get older. I appreciate more uh, serious stories. So that is my one thing that knocks us down by by half a star. So normally I would have given this movie four stars, but because of the humor, I'm going to knock it down another half a star. And my final review or my final score on this is three and a half out of five stars. Still highly entertaining, still a popcorn summer blockbuster, worth going to see. Uh, Don't think I didn't like it by any stretch of the imagination. It just is not something that I would say is something you dig your teeth into. There's definitely more to come though. I'm hoping the second film is more uh, more than this one. Uh, I do appreciate all of the support. I appreciate everybody who's here today to see this review. If you like it, share it with your friends. If you like it, like the video. YouTube likes that. It's really important if you want my channel to go. That when I'm a review channel after all. When I do these movie reviews, even if you don't want to watch it, please like the videos. Uh, it's really important that the likes are there because if they do, if these videos don't get the likes, they don't share them. And it's really important. This is what I'm building my channel on. And I'm still going to be doing all the DC stuff on a daily basis. And uh, it's it's getting pretty crazy out there. Uh, I, I'm going to do another video here in a minute uh, about something that just happened. And uh, it, it has to do with the uh, strike that's going on in Hollywood. So I'm going to do another quick DC update in regards to that. And we will see you on the next update.